Welcome to our new lesson, which is kinds of proportion. Direct proportion. So Benjamin prepared a graph of his allowance for five days. We want to know how much is his daily allowance. If we will study the graph, we can observe that his daily allowance is 100 pesos. Next, how much does he receive in three days? Let's observe. For one day, he will receive 100 pesos. For two days, 200 pesos. For three days, 300 pesos. So he received 300 pesos for three days. What happened to the amount of money in pesos as the number of days increases? Let's observe again. For one day, he will receive 100 pesos. For two days, he will receive 200 pesos. So we can say that as the number in days increases, the amount in pesos also increases. Next. What happened to the amount of money in pesos as the number of days decreases? Again, it will start from for 5 days, he will receive 500 pesos. For 4 days, he will receive 400 pesos. So, we can say thus, as the number of days decreases, the amount in pesos also decreases. So, we can say that as one quantity increases, the other quantity also increases. Similarly, as one quantity decreases, the other quantity decreases. This is direct proportion. So the ratio of pencils to erasers is 3 is to 2. If there are 12 pencils, how many erasers are there? So there are steps in order to solve this type of ratio or proportion problem. So the step number one is set up the ratios. Take note that, okay, the arrangement in the first ratio is equal to the arrangement in the second ratio, such that in our representation, we have pencil is to erasers, so we have the same arrangement in the second ratio. So we have pencils is to erasers. Then we plug in the numbers, 3 is to 2 is equal to 12 is to erasers, since we do not know the number of erasers yet. Next, step number 2. Solve for the missing term. Okay, take note that the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. I represent here n for the number of erasers. Then, take note that 3 times n is equal to 2 times 12. Okay, then I have here 3 times n is equal to 24. And if, and if I want to find the value of n, I'll undo the operation instead of multiplying by 3 I have now here n is equal to 24 divided by 3 so n is equal to 8 so therefore there are 8 erasers so let's have another example for the direct proportion Kelly and Sally shared an amount of money the ratio of their shares is 3 to 5 if Kelly has 900 pesos how much money does Sally so let's have step number one. So we are in the set up the ratios. So the arrangement will be Kelly's to Sally is equal to Kelly's to Sally. So we will plug in the numbers. For every three parts for Kelly, there are five parts for Sally. So Kelly has 900 pesos for a known amount for Sally. Then step number two, solve for the missing term wherein the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Okay, so the means are 5 and 9 and the extremes are 3 and n. So I have here 3 times n is equal to 5 times 900. But take note that I can get the product of 5 and 900 first. So I have here 3 times n is equal to 4,500. Then I want to find out the value of n. So I'll divide 4,500 by 3, so n is equal to 1,500. So, Sally has 1,500 pesos. Partitive Proportion In partitive proportion, it is important to know the ratio of the proportional parts. 
Andres and Santi share a bag of 42 candies and the ratio of 4 is to 3. How many candies will each child receive? So let us represent 4 parts for Andres and uh, 3 parts for Santi. Take note that the total number of candies is equal to 42. And I can see that there are 7 parts in all. So, I can say that 7 parts or 7 units is equal to 42. But if I want to find out the value of each unit, okay, since there are 7 equal units, so to find the value of each unit, so that is 42 divided by 7, so 1 unit is equal to 6. But take note that Andres has 4 parts. So, we have 4 times 6 is equal to 24. Well, Sandy has 3 parts, so we have 3 times 6 is equal to 18. So therefore, Andres received 24 candies, while Santi received 18 candies. Blue and Laika share an amount of money in the ratio of 5 is to 3. Blue has 8,000 pesos more than Laika. How much money do they share in all? So let's illustrate. 5 parts for blue and 3 parts for Laika. Take note the difference between blue and Laika's share is actually unit, uh, 2 units, which is actually 8,000 pesos. So we can say that 2 units or 2 parts is equal to 8,000. And if I want to find out the value of each part, so I have 1 unit is equal to 8,000 divided by 2. So 1 unit is equal to 4,000 pesos. But take note that blue has 5 parts or 5 units. So 5 times 8,000 is equal to 40,000 pesos. While Laika has 3 parts. So 3 times 8,000. So Laika has 24,000 pesos. And if I want to find out the total money, so I'll add 40,000 and 24,000 so the total is 64,000 pesos. However, I can use the TST or the time saving technique to find the total number of units or to find out the total amount. So I have here, so 5 units plus 3 units is equal to 8 units. Since eight, uh, there are 8 units and each unit is equal to 8,000 pesos, so I have here 64,000 pesos. So therefore, Blue and Laika shared 64,000 pesos in all. Indirect proportion. In indirect proportion, as one quantity increases, the other quantity decreases. Also, as one quantity decreases, the other quantity increases. So let's have application for the indirect proportion. So Bert has enough money for buy this vacation if he spends 600 pesos a day. For how many days will his money last if he decides to spend only 300 pesos a day? So our step number one will be set up the ratios like the direct proportion. So I have here money to days is equal to money to days. So take note that Arrangement is very important in ratios. So we have here, next is plug in the, uh, the numbers. So 600 is to 5 is equal to 300 is to n. Take note that for our step number 2, we will look for the missing term. Okay, that is 600 is to 5 is equal to 300 is to n. This is the difference between the indirect proportion and the direct proportion. In indirect proportion now guys, so the first ratio or the product of the first ratio is equal to the product of the second ratio such that 600 times 5 is equal to 300 times n. So I have here 3000 is equal to 300 times n. Since I'm looking for the value of n, so n will be 3000 divided by 300, so n is equal to 10. So therefore, the money will last for 10 days. So the next example, 10 builders can make a small house in 30 days. How long will it take 
build builders to do the same job at the same rate. So again, our step number one is set up the ratios. So again, we have here builders is today's is, is equal to builders is today's. So take note that I had 10 builders for 30 days, which is equal to 12 builders for unknown days. Next, on our second step, take note that we will look for or solve for the missing term. Recall that I have 10 is to 30 is equal to 12 is to n. Now, in indirect proportion, the product of the first ratio is equal to the product of the second ratio, such that I have 10 times 30 is equal to 12 times n. So I have here 300, which is equal to 12 times n. So to look for the value of n, so n is equal to 300 divided by 12, so n is equal to 25. So therefore, they can do the job in 25 days.